I was fortunate to be in a class with a collective called Shut Up and Dance and a DJ from the drum bass scene called DJ Hype from way back, say in the early 80s, um, whilst we were in school they started the sound system and um, that was one thing that I found quite amazing, you know, the people I'd be at school with um, put together a sound system that take on the likes of some of the bigger sound systems back in the day like Saxon, uh, Trojan. I remember going to some of their nights um, and just being totally amazed at what they were doing at that time and it gave me the, the belief that you know you can do something from nothing. This particular place, Music House, which was a mastering suite and um, this was our Facebook, this is where we used to network and get to meet most of the DJs in the scene, most of the other producers. Um, as I say, we didn't have internet back then, so um, that was the meeting place. It's not a matter of um, quantity, because I mean, I played at big places and you know, and you've had huge crowds, and sometimes it's the, the, the more sort of intimate events that I remember more because you've had that that close sort of connectivity with your with your audience. Um, but it's the same feeling um, getting a rewind whether it's in a big place, a small place, it gives you the same feeling because you know you've you've made the right choice in what you've played, you know, you've made that right, you know, you've read the crowd right. Started making music, it wasn't that easy accessible because equipment back then cost a lot of money. So you really had to make a conscious sort of commitment to, to the actual art. With the whole advan advances in technology, I, I found that what I was doing was sounding too clean, too sterile. So now I'm kind of going back to um, outboard. So I even buy uh, a mixer. I know it's still a digital mixer, but it's um, just something to have in the chain rather than just building everything inside the box. Um, so I'm going, and even going back to sort of analog, just to get some of that sort of analog warmth. So, um, but in terms of my sound changing, um, I'm always looking to develop. Yeah, I'm always sort of trying to push the boundaries as to what I can do. But um, I think, if anything, not not so much moving along sort of technical realms. It's more about musicality and getting the the actual sound of the music right.